Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. Here we are ready to get down and dirty with more spell work for you guys as promised. Now this spell is particularly for those of you guys that are currently going through some type of temporary separation, some type of breakup, or if your partner is extremely stubborn, uh, very much vibrating from the ego and pride and uh, just her head and you want to um, have some type of dominions or some type of control over them. Now, this is most effective when there is some type of separation or some type of breakup. It's to bring them, have them crawling back to you. Um, now, like I mentioned in previous videos, I have made it much more easy for you guys and we have... Uh, collaborated with Amazon. So from here on out, any of the ingredients that you see on any of my spells, you're going to have uh, easy access to them. You'll be able to find all of that on our online store. All of the links of all of those sites are down the description box below. You'll be able to find all of that on there, especially for the oils and ingredients that are a little bit more difficult to find. All right, my lovely. So like I mentioned, this is a spell to bring them back to you, to have them crawling begging you, crying, or having remorse, more specifically. Okay, so what are we going to need? As you guys can see here, we have a purple onion. Now, it has to be a purple onion. It cannot be a white onion. It can be any other onion but the purple one. Why? Because it's much more stronger and it's much more potent. You want to get yourself a pretty big one, as you guys can see here. It's pretty big. Um, and the reason for this is because we're going to be integrating and putting things on this onion. Now, you're also going to be needing three black candles. These candles are to be burned on top of the onion um, consecutively one day after the other so that it can seal the work. Now, you're going to be needing some pins or needles. You're going to be needing some powdered sugar. You're going to be needing some dirt. It cannot be any type of dirt. It has to be dirt from the front entrance of your home. As an example, if you live in an apartment uh, duplex or something like that, uh, what you could do is sweep the dirt all the way to the entrance of your home and then pick it up right at the entrance of your home. Why? Because it carries a lot of strong, powerful energy and it's the energy that we're trying to use to bring the person, to lower the person back into your life. Now, you're also going to be needing some parchment paper, a number two pencil. You're going to be needing some some honey. It doesn't matter the type of honey that you use. As you guys know, we like to use more of the natural. Uh, it is much more explosive, much more powerful. We're also going to be using some uh, cinnamon as well as some paprika. And this is just to amplify, to make it happen a bit quicker, to have it move much more faster. Now, you're also going to be needing three different types of oils. Now, you can use any type of oil, uh, love oil, as an example, Adam and Eve, um, as an example, love or chuparosa type of oil, or pull, pull, uh, pull, pull um, oil instead of powder. Now, if you don't have the oil, you can um, substitute it for the powder. You're also going to be using some Intranquil oil, and you're also going to be using any type of Dominion's type of oil. Doesn't matter what it is. Like I said, you'll be able to find all of these ingredients on our Amazon link uh, or on an online store, which is personal oils that I uh, make for you guys. So you'll be able to find all of that on there. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. So what you're going to do first, and I do want to mention, this is a um, this is a seven day ritual. Now what happens is the first three nights, obviously that you're going to be burning these candles by uh, on top of the onion is to seal the work. But after that, um, we will continue to, uh, there is a process to do. It's actually a two step process. So I will take you guys step by step with that. So let's get to the nitty gritty. Like I said, you're going to get the three candles. You want to bless them. You want to add or integrate some type of holy water, or consecrated water. Then what you're going to do is you're going to write down the information of the target. You're going to write down the information of your partner and you're going to put their information and their date of birth. Then you're going to turn it and you're going to write down exactly what it is that you want. 
as an example as this candle burns so does the love and desire and obsession um burns with the desire of reaching out to and then you're going to write down your name now you're going to do that on the three candles once that is done you're going to rub the candles with oils like i said with in tranquil oil with dominion oil and with some type of love oil preferably pool pool oil and once you do that you're going to set that to the side now you're going to get the parchment the parchment paper and you're going to write down the person's information so you're going to put as an example um You're going to write down their information. And their date of birth. Okay, so I will just make up. Um, okay, as an example, it's going to look something like this. So you're going to write down their first name. As you guys can see here, uh, we put Joe Doe and the date of birth, March 19th, 1989, as an example. Once you do that, you're going to turn the parchment paper to your right, always to your right. Why? Because we are empowering. And when you turn it to the right, uh, you are energetically igniting it preparing it empowering it okay so always to the right unless it's like a banishment or something like that but anyways this is a love working so to the right then you're going to write down your information and your date of birth okay so we're going to put as an example june 21 um 1990 as an example and you're going to go down seven times. So you guys can see here, you're going to turn it to the right. As you guys can see here. Okay, so you have it like this. Sorry. You have it like this, right? And then you're going to turn it to the right. And then you're going to write down your name, your date of birth uh, going down. So it's going to look like this. Your info, your date of birth. You see that arrow? The arrow, you're going to go down seven times. So you're going to cross your name. You're going to go over their name, crossing it with your name seven times going down. Okay? Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to add these three oils, the Domination, the Intranquil, and the Pull Pull Oil. You're going to put it on top of the petition paper. Let me move this to the side so I can show you guys. Okay. You're going to put it, you're going to put the oils on here. Once that is done, you're going to get some of the honey. You're going to pour the honey over. You're going to get some of the cinnamon. You're going to put the cinnamon. You're going to get the paprika and you're going to put some paprika over it. Do not put so much paprika, you guys. You don't need very much of the paprika. We just want to facilitate and activate it much more quicker. That's the reason why we're using the paprika. Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to rub it with your finger going in a circular motion, going from your right all the way down to your left, okay? So clockwise position, putting the energy of what it is that you're wanting. Now, you have two options before putting the honey and the cinnamon what you could do is over the names once you've put your name over their information and you've gone down seven times you can also go on top of your name and write down exactly what it is that you want as an example what i do for my clients is i i state i strip you completely from your ego and your pride love desire and lust is all that blooms and it is ignited within your heart for so and so as an example for you you would write down your first name last name and date of birth you're coming to me looking for me there is no peace there is no rest there is no sleep until you find yourself in my arms again 
the desire is so strong. I find or you find me in your sleep day and night, constantly on your mind with remorse and regret. Now it's important to put that why because again this purple onion it is extremely powerful when we're talking about spell work because it's very potent. So what it does is that it will trigger them to really feel the burn, the pain of what it is to not have you in their life. And it becomes so almost like they become almost impulsive to, to the sense or aspect of just reaching out or coming or looking for you or going to your home because they are becoming overpowered with this, okay? So it's important to put in the petition. If you are writing down something in the petition, it's important to write down you have regret and you have remorse. Um, and of course, always stating the obvious, you'll come crawling on your knees at my feet. So once you do that, then that's when you would put the, the honey, the cinnamon, and the paprika. Now for some of you guys, if you don't want to write down the petition, that is completely okay. However, you do need to make sure to write down their first name, last name, date of birth, and then go over it with your information, turning it to the right, writing down your information, first name, last name, date of birth, seven times going down. Once that is done, you're going to put the honey, the cinnamon, and the paprika. You're going to fold the paper towards you. You're going to fold it towards you once. You're going to turn it to the right and fold it towards you. Again, visualizing and stating the obvious. You will come to me. You will look for me. You will have no ego. You will have no pride. You will come crawling to my feet or at my feet, knocking on my door, begging me to take you back. So you do the same thing. You turn it to the right. You fold it. Okay, once that is done, we're going to put this to the side. I'm just using this as an example. So once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to peel the onion and you're only going to leave um, the onion. You're going to cut the center of the onion, as you guys can see here. You're going to cut it. You're going to keep this because we're going to seal it. So once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to go with a pen or even the pencil or something sharp. You can use the um, you can use the needles or the pins and you're going to write down exactly what it is that you want him or her to do. You will look for me. You will find me in your sleep. You will think of me day and night. You will have no rest. You will come crawling at me or you come crawling at my feet begging me for forgiveness with regret and remorse. And you're going to keep writing that all around the onion, okay? So once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to get the petition paper that we, I just showed you guys how to do. This is the real one. I'm doing this for a client. And what you're going to do is you're going to rub the onion around the paper, right? All on top of the paper. To activate it okay once that is done you're gonna put it inside the onion like this okay you're going to get the powdered sugar and you're gonna put it on top of the petition paper inside the onion you're going to add some of the cinnamon again. You're going to add some of the paprika. Like I said with the paprika, you guys don't need very much of it. Paprika is used because of its fire element to ignite it, to empower it, and to make the facilitation of it happening quicker, a quicker or faster uh, result. Once you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to pour some of the oils the pull pull oil, the in tranquil oil, the domination oil, okay, and it's going to look something like this. All right. 
once that is done what you're going to do now is you're going to get the dirt now like i mentioned to you guys this is a two-step process okay so it is a seven day ritual but through the process through the two-step process um it actually takes more than seven days so you're gonna do the candles for three nights i'll take you guys step by step i'm jumping ahead you guys <laughs> All right, so you're going to pour some of the the dirt. All right, so it's going to look something like this. Then what you're going to do now is you're going to cover the onion. You're going to get the needle or the pins that you're using. Make sure that when you're putting the needles or make sure that when you're putting the needles in you're doing it with the intention of what you're casting this ritual for okay i will overpower you ego and pride will no longer rule you you'll come crawling to me begging me to take you back All right, you guys. All right, so once that is done, it's going to look something like this. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to pour some of the honey over the onion. And you're gonna pour some of the some of the dirt on top of the onion why are we doing this because as them as the wax is melting it's going to it's going to seal the onion okay it's going to seal the onion and once it seals the onion what's going to happen is that you are done or you have completed the one step process which is the ritualizing of the onion for three nights so once that is done what you're going to do now is you're going to get the candle so what you want to do is you want to melt the candle some of the wax of the candle so that you can be able to stick it and it won't fall over. All right, so that's what I'm doing now. Okay, you're gonna leave it like that. All right, my lovely, so as you guys can see here, the challenge here for this spell work is for the for the candle to actually hold so that it can melt the wax over the onion now you can find many ways of doing this for some of you guys you may want to burn the candle um hold it with uh, as an example as you guys can see here i put the other two candles behind this candle so that it doesn't flip over it is very important and it's very crucial for you guys to do this spell work 
um, and have the candles burning when you are around this work. You do not want to step aside. You do not want to walk away from it and not have your eyes on this. It is crucial and important that when you're burning this candle, you are by the work. Okay, that's the only way it's going to work. So you're going to burn one whole candle the first night. The second night, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to burn the second candle. And the third night, you're going to burn the rest or the, the third candle. Once that is done, the seal, you're going to wait for the wax to dry so that it, it could completely seal the onion. Once this is done, you're done with the first part. The second part is that once the wax, once the candles, sorry, once the candles have burned out completely, um, and the wax is already sealed the onion what you're going to do is and this is the second part you're going to get the onion you're going to put it in a rag or you're going to put it in some a pretty big sachet bag if you prefer or you're basically going to wrap this work okay and this is what's very important you're going to wrap this work and it starts counting down you have to put this at the entrance of your home and it has to be in the entrance of your home where light and shade will hit it. Okay? So what do you, as an example, Pinky, I live in an apartment place and it's really hard. How would I be able to hang it in the entrance of your home? You're going to hang it in the entrance of the apartments. Okay? And you want to leave it like by a tree or somewhere where you know the sun is going to hit it and the shade is going to hit it. And it has to remain there for three nights and three days. Okay, so let's say you, you are completed with the work. The seal is, uh, sorry, the wax is cooled off. It's already sealed the onion. You're going to put it in a rag or you're going to put it, wrap it around. Basically, you're going to take it outside at the entrance of your home. And you want to leave it hanging where the sun is going to hit it and where the shade, meaning the night, will hit it as well. You're going to leave it there for three nights and three days. Once that is done and it has been completed and you're on the third night or the th third day, I should say, then what you're going to do is once the three nights and the three days have hit it, the day and night, you're going to take it from the hanging and you're going to either bury it in the entrance of your door or you could get yourself a little plant and put it in the entrance of your home. Okay, but it has to stay right by where your door is at. Now, this may be a bit of a challenge, you guys, but you have to keep in mind that if you do spell work and you do it the way I'm telling you to do it, you have to find creative ways of making sure that you're following every single step. This is crucial if you want results. I assure you guys that if you guys do this, you're gonna get immediate results. You don't need to chant anything. You don't need specific days. However, I would encourage you guys to do this either on a new moon or going towards a waxing full moon um, because you wanna amplify, you wanna get as much energy as you possibly can. But we all know that sometimes life happens what if it is a um, dark moon and there is a breakup and separation and you want to do this? Yes, you're still able to do it, but obviously full moon always empowers. New moon also strengthens. So uh, pick or choose your battles, you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this spell. Like, comment. If you actually do this, come back and let us know what was your results, as I always encourage you guys. Uh, so you can motivate other people. I want to wish you guys the very best. You guys definitely stay tuned. We have tons of new spells coming through for you guys. And all the ingredients that are a little bit more complicated, you'll be able to find on the Amazon link. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. And bye-bye for now.